Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and this is a quick look at the latest build of Windows 10 which uh, you know that will be basically the October 2018 update. I mean we are there pretty much except that this is still not the last build. Uh, this is build 17.760. It was released yesterday Friday late afternoon uh, Friday September 14th. So I'm doing the review today Saturday 15th of September. We are days away from the original the official release. Um, you know, it could happen next week and I wouldn't be surprised, it could happen in the week after, but we're extremely close to the real deal here. Of course, there's no front-facing features, nothing new. There's no known issues. Um, I've seen once a couple of weeks ago they did that, but I think this is kind of the first, one of the first times anyways, that there's really no official issues to talk about. Of course, there's a lot of bug fixing. That's mainly what they're doing. So uh, watermark still not there, of course, uh, but it's not yet the official build. If we look at the uh, Windows version here, we're at 1809, build 17.760.1. Um, on build feed, I was looking there at 17.761, so it shows that they're still advancing internally on the uh, canary build for what we will have eventually. Um, of course there's the uh, interesting side that um, for a few hours yesterday fast ring builds and slow ring builds were the same version 17758. Uh, look there's the install went well everything went well I, I've seen no issues at all with this build and it seems to be working very very well. I've got uh, I've been using it, you know, since yesterday evening as my main machine. Everything that I do, everywhere I go, everything I choose, everywhere I look, I've had no problems with this build. It seems to run quite fast too, which is not bad. And uh, that's what we want. I mean, they're in bug fixing mode. And the idea behind this is that they want to have the best rollout possible. And this is what we're getting uh, possibly here. Um, really a lot of bug fixes and uh, you know this week we learned that the Windows team after this is released is going to change it's going to be interesting to see the changes that also that brings to the insider program and what 19H1 will also be like as usual because there's no front-facing feature I will highlight one of the new features that is coming to our machines in the October 2018 update and of course it's the phone your phone experience so your phone app which is the app that actually uh, has your phone now unfortunately i still can't have it working i don't know why some people do and basically what happens is uh, you know look at the interface here uh, you see that it knows that it's a galaxy s9 plus that's that's there uh, when this is checking my phone i should be having a pop-up that says do you want to allow you know the the access to your data i'm not getting the um i'm not getting the allow button or anything so um you know it's it's kind of interesting but still uh it gives an idea so you got photos photos is the section where you see the last 25 right now it's limited to the last 25 pictures taken on your phone i would really love to have that working because i would really love to have that access to that and and be able to keep some of these pictures within my uh, computer without having to plug it in and, and essentially download all the pictures, you know. Um, and of course you have now access to text messaging. You can not only receive and view the text messages on your computer, you can also send the text messages on your, um, from your computer to whoever is writing. I am going to write a little um, feedback hub post this afternoon to let them know that I'm not getting the uh, you know notification of allowing my phone to be accessed by uh, the um, phone app maybe they'll look into it um, I don't know if um, other people have the same problems but I um, on my case it doesn't work well 
uh, yet I still don't have the notification which is annoying me as hell because I would love this to work actually so that's one of the features that hopefully will work for you uh, in the April 20 uh, the October 2018 update sorry and coming of course as um, I think a very nice feature because honestly what I like about your phone I've had a lot of people saying well you know I don't see why that's useful it's very useful I mean when you take pictures with your phone, how do you send them to your computer? You either have to send them to the cloud and then access these from your computer. You either have to plug in your phone to your PC and have that, you know, transferred through USB. I'm sorry, but that's annoying as hell. Why not have a, 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 an app that actually has the pictures there that you can actually play with already? So you go out, you have fun, you take pictures. I mean, how do we take pictures today? That's the way we take pictures. Our phone is with us all the time. You go somewhere, you take pictures, of course, because your phone is there. You got a camera with you all the time. So this is kind of cool. You go back home, you, you know, turn on your phone app. Here you go. You got, you know, a certain number of pictures that you can actually download easily to your computer. It's cool. Um, I think this is a very cool feature, if not the best feature once it's going to work from the October 2018 update, honestly. So, you know, of course. I will uh, try this afternoon a few things. I, one thing that I haven't done yet um, is uh, to um, shut down and uh, restart my router. Maybe there could be some kind of blockage there. I'll be checking that to see if uh, there's a problem. It does detect that my phone is on Wi-Fi because it, uh, when I actually remove my phone from Wi-Fi, it says, oh, by, way, by the way, your phone is not on Wi-Fi. It needs to be on Wi-Fi if you want me to send the uh, notification. But, uh, and when I put it back on Wi-Fi, well, you know, it just says, well, okay, I'm trying to, but I don't get the notifications, unfortunately. Uh, hopefully it's going to work. Um, and so, hey, we are getting very, very close. We are to a point where days away from the official release, we're already mid-September. Incredible how time flies. I can't believe it. I have the impression September started only uh, yesterday. And of course, we will be looking at... Uh, whatever happens uh, next week we'll be looking at of course builds that will be released uh, for skip ahead well I'm on the um, right now I'm on the um, the reinstall trying to install the skip ahead again I don't know if it's working um, right now it's in the download phase hopefully it's going to install this time uh, this is like my fifth time that I'm trying to install the skip ahead. If it doesn't work, well, the hell with it. I'll wait for the next skip ahead and try the next one. But for now, the skip ahead doesn't work at all uh, for the install. I get. Um, it's interesting because the first time I got an error message, which was a common error message that everybody gets, which was um, because they had encrypted the download. Now it's a different error message that I get, and it just doesn't install. So um, hopefully things are going to get better with the next build. So a uh, good build here for uh, 17760. And of course, uh, we're continuing our quest for checking out what will be interesting in the uh, Insider Builds in the new version of Windows. Coming very soon to a PC near you. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.